What if I told you that Greg Hardy was actually just an asshole? No comment. Any other questions? That even ex-NFL players would make fun of him for being such a prick. What if I told you that even after a year-long suspension for assault and battery, he still didn't understand his wrongdoing? I hope I, hope I come out guns blazing. He was just laughing, laughing out loud. This is the kind of disrespect, and it is so disrespectful what he did, that I'm sorry, it mandates a public apology. Greg Hardy had to pretend to respect women for 12 minutes, and he couldn't even do that. What if I told you an owner so desperate to return to the glory days would sign a convicted felon was to lead him there? convicted at one point of something heinous. That what some call an act of passion. Has got a great passion for the game. Everyone else just considers being a huge asshole. A bum. That's what he is. A bum. Embarrassed. Ashamed. Torn from the bottom of my soul. What if I told you that even though the NFL said no more. No more. He just has a temper. best. The NFL sets an example that makes a positive difference. They still allowed this piece of shit to continue playing. Here comes Hardy. I get this feeling that he does not have the kind of self-control that you would wish someone in that position of that swing. Would you believe me? ESPN's critically acclaimed 30 for 30, presented by Levi's, Tuesday at 8 p.m.